what is going on everybody uh it is about seven o'clock in the morning uh, on my way to meet up with some of my family that flew into town because it's my birthday this weekend uh, and they're from flew in from idaho and uh flew in from oregon so we are heading to cars and coffee uh south lake cars and coffee to kind of uh, show them what car events are kind of like here in Texas uh, because the car scene is a little bit different than what it is up there in the Pacific Northwest. So they haven't experienced anything like this before. So we're picking them up at the hotel. Uh, speed bump. Picking them up at the hotel. We're gonna head over there. And uh, James is meeting us there, and I believe Henry also as well with his GT500. Uh, it was sold out, so I don't know if Henry was able to get a ticket in time. So. But on that note, I'm heading to the hotel now, meeting them, gonna pick them up, uh, and we're gonna head over to South Lake Cars and Coffee. Okay, we're here at South Lake Cars and Coffee. Uh, people are just rolling in. There's not a lot of cars here yet. It's always a good idea to get here early so you get a good spot. It's a different location than what they've had before, so this is the first time I've been at this specific location. What kind of coffee is that? Uh, ice chocolate mocha. It's ice chocolate mocha, yeah. My uh, buddy, ironically, Henry, uh, who works at my, uh, or used to work over at my dealership. It's good. So he Although it's it. Starbucks, so it's kind of eh. <laughs> he ordered a black C8 Corvette back when they were still doing them, and uh, he he got it, drove it around for like two months, sold it, made like 15k, 20k on it, and then he just went and bought another red one. Did you get any sleep last night? Did I? Yeah. No. No. Time to go to bed. Like <clears throat> almost one. No, because I turned off the light at 12. This is my oh, nephew. Yeah. So this is Connor. This here is Austin. They flew in here from the Pacific Northwest. This is their first time in this part of Texas, right? Yes. So I wanted to bring them here, have them experience what the Texas cars and coffee situation like. And actually, this one's actually pretty small compared to most Texas sized cars and coffee, but at least I would give you guys an idea, or give them an idea on what the Texas car scene is like. But you said there's gonna be 400 cars here, right? Roughly. Usually the Texas cars and coffees are three to four hundred cars. This one is significantly smaller. This is like 150 or 200. But I say that because uh, he only got, he was up for like 30 hours, 36 hours. Four hours, something like that. He went out last night and he had to get up super early to come here with us to cars and coffee. So he's kind of dragging balls, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got to rally for tonight too because we're going out again <laughs> tonight too. So it's going to be a long day for this guy. See that Henry still has. Oh, he took off his uh, his pony badger. One of them. So yes, I got a couple more to take off. Are you gonna keep that on there, or are you gonna take that off? No, I'm gonna take it off. But the thing is, on the stripes, I don't want to mess up. You might stripes. mess up the stripes. So you gotta take it off a certain way. Yeah, I might take it to the detail place. How you doing? How you doing, man? All right, buddy. Good to see you, man. You too. I knew when I was going speed, I knew that 10 speed was going to be the way to go. 10 speed is the way to go. The, manual, go the manuals are freaking fun, but when, you gotta, when you're going to go fast, dude, you, you just you can't beat it, dude. I mean, you're, you're going to. I'm going for the five. 10 speed is where it's at. Where'd you get this shifter? Um, I like white, it. White Madness Garage. I like that. So, dude, it's. I mean, I can do that. I've had this guy in previous videos in the past and he doesn't usually drive this thing hardly ever in the rain so he keeps this on always. He doesn't ever take this off.
It's a better version of Henry's Jeep. This just makes Henry's Jeep look like a bitch. Like it does. Yeah, it makes it look like a bitch, Henry. <laughs> this is this is awesome. Yeah. I think Henry's a little How jealous. Good. How are you? Very good. That's what I got? Yes, sir. I'm Henry. Tim, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I knew he was going to get drawn to that thing. This thing, though. This is wicked. This thing. Oh, my goodness. It's a shame Dodge doesn't make these anymore. I know. I wish they still made these. Was it 2022 the last year? It was just recently. What year did they stop making the Viper? It wasn't. It was just within the last few years, wasn't it? Maybe. Anybody know? Because I don't know. I know it wasn't too long ago. Nicely just think, done. Just think, there would be no Viper if it wasn't for Carol Shelby. That's true. That is true. And Lee Iacocca. Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I just dropped my nephew's back off at the hotel. We had breakfast here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna conclude this one and wrap this one up. Uh, for anyone that's watching this that is not subscribed, I know I always say this a lot, but if you guys are watching and you are not subscribed, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, drop a like and a comment. And as always, I will catch you guys at the next one. See ya, bye.